Alright, so in today's video, we're going to be talking about air conditioning, heat, whatever. Basically, this area right here. So let's say you wake up one morning, come out to your vehicle, crank it up. This speed doesn't work, this, this speed doesn't work, and this speed doesn't work. But this speed works, and it works like it should. You have everything set up right, you've checked it, you play with it, it won't work. Well, there's an easy fix. The, you know, it may not be this, but this is a common problem. Is this right here? This is called a resistor pack. Um, as you can see, this one came out of this truck. It was really rusted whenever I got it. Basically, what happens is you have a 12 volt signal that comes into this, and you have a 12 volt signal that goes to high. So, high is on a separate circuit. So, this, so these three and low, well, lo low is one of these three. So, those are all on the same circuit, okay? And if this pack goes out, none of these speeds will work, okay? Because what it does is it measures the amount of resistance in the wire and sends that much current to the blower to blow a certain speed. So that's how you get your low, medium, high, and I don't know, extra high? I don't know. Anyway, so yeah. So this is what the problem is. And on now they're in a different location on every vehicle. Some of them are in the dash. Some of them are under the hood. In this case, it's underneath the hood, and I'm going to show you where it's located. On this particular model truck, uh, I'm pretty sure they did this from 1987 to 1996. It's located right through there. As you can see, I've already installed my new one back there, and it works. Um, but yeah, so this is the resistor pack. Like I said, I just explained to you what it does. Um, if that if that goes bad, like I said, put a new one all back there. That one, I went to the store today and paid thirty dollars for, because um, it just happened this morning, and I went ahead and fixed it up. Um, so yeah, thirty dollars for that. You can. I looked on Rock Auto. You can get them for eighteen dollars. I just uh, kind of wanted my blower back, so I didn't really worry about it. But yeah, as you can see, this one was really rusted. I mean, that's probably what our problem was. Even the terminals in there are quite rusted. So yeah, so that that's it right there. That's a pretty simple fix. Um, it's kind of hard to get to with a ratchet, but you can you can do it if you finagle a ratchet in there. So yeah, I just wanted to go over that real quick. All right, guys. So, um, the pretty much it's this is just a quick fix video. Um, if, like I said, if you're having only high on your blower motor, then it's that it's most likely that resistor pack. It can be other things, but that is the most common problem. Mine was really rusted, as you saw, and it needed to be replaced, whether it was bad or not. Uh, of course, that didn't end up being it, but you get my point. Um, so, anyways, guys. Uh, I have a lot coming in the future. Um, we are currently trying to get a shop set up to do some builds. We're trying to get a little place over here set up for the next build because it is a huge build. Um, a huge project which we're going to be embarking on. Um, and so there's a lot coming up. I'm going to go over all of it in a separate video just because there's, there's a lot. And I want to cover it all pretty thoroughly. That way everybody understands what's happening. Because um, I don't want anybody confused as to why we're doing this and then this and then this. So we're going to go over all that in the next video. Um, so yeah guys, I want to thank you very much for watching. If you enjoyed these little, if you if you enjoyed this video, be sure to drop a like and I might make more just quick fix videos. Um, so yeah guys, I'll see you next week.